Yo, what's good guys? Today I'm gonna show you how you can make a classic plug type beat and I'm talking about the old Mexico draw making beats for Diego Money and like Playboy Carti, stuff like that. And first off I'm gonna play the beat and then I'm gonna explain how I made this and yeah, hopefully you can learn something new. Yeah, so that was the beat. I hope you fuck with it and now let's go right into the melody and for this for this pet melody I picked the simple mutes arpeggio for the Nexus 2 and this repeats so what I did is I made a minor chord with the A as a root note and for that you place your root note, you leave two spaces in between and then three spaces then you have a minor chord and what I did, um, I pitched this down five semitones so this is a very common plug trick and then I just went down for two semitones and this is how I made this arpeggio melody and after that I did the same notes but with a different type of sound so now we have the lost temple pad from the epic pad preset category yeah, so this repeats and from this pad you can really hear the classic Mexico draw sound 2k16 playboy carti diego money and this has like this pad has a lot of power and sounds really like strong on itself and I really liked it. And then I took a bell from Nexus and I made this little bell melody. I took oh no, I took the Lost Temple pad again, but I made some smaller notes. Let's listen to that. So, just to complement with the melody overall and and then I copied the same notes over and just changed the sound to this bell, the VZ, VZ, VZ bells 2 from the plugged section and this is like the very classic sound if you think about old plug and yeah this just gives like nostalgia feelings bro and let's listen to that. Same notes, different melody, I mean different sound. And then I switched over to Purity and I picked out this sound, the string sound, and let's listen to that. Yeah, so as you can see this is very simple and I just made this melody to kind of stick the whole, the whole melody better together and yeah very simple I didn't switch the notes very often so I stayed in the E for most of the time and then at the end I went down with the A and then it repeats like in the first four bars and then I just copied these pad notes and I took a piano sound from Purity and just copied this, these notes over to this sound and yeah, I think I don't have to explain this and I'm gonna show you what preset I used. So this is the electric piano one and I think I didn't modify anything so let's get into that. So this repeats for 8 bars and as you can hear these are the same notes as my pad note from the beginning. I mean my pad melody from the beginning. I added this 
piano but I took out the <laughs> piano and then this bell and then we are left with the synth string because I I don't know I like the sound and I wanted to add it yeah so that's basically it for the melody and I would say I'm gonna show you how I mix the melody so for the pad and the arpeggio I just took out some frequencies that I didn't need. For this pad I put on two EQs so the frequencies really get cut out because sometimes when you only put one EQ then some frequencies still go through and then it fucks up the 808 or something and yeah. Then I have this, I think this is the second pad sound with the smaller notes and I added some reverb to that and also for the bells, for the classic block bells I added some reverb and EQ and then for the strings and purity I EQ'd out most of the low end and I put the volume down very much so the string is really in the background and not in the foreground because this is where it should be. And then for the piano I have this reverb and this EQ, so nothing wild and the same for the piano pad. And yeah, then I'm gonna show you how I did the drums, so let's get into that. So actually what I didn't talk about in the beginning is that for a few days I've been starting with making the drums first and then the melody so I most of the time make something like really bouncy and as you can see these hi-hats are really not complicated and I have no hi-hat rolls or something like that so yeah just some bouncy hi-hats and whatever sounds good to you then add these like accents I would say to your hi-hat pattern to spice it up a bit and that's basically it for the hi-hat. Then the classic Mexico drill clap. Sometimes I change this up but like 5% of the time so you don't have to but if it sounds good then do it. And then I added this snare just for some bounce, nothing crazy. So yeah then let's go over to the 808 and as you can see I followed all the root notes from my piano and pad melody so yeah, the G, the C and the F and I also put the velocity 100% up so the 808 hits at its max and yeah, this is just a very bouncy pattern that I liked and nothing much to explain to this either and what I did basically for the drums is to cut out some frequencies and for the Mexico Draw 808 I just put down the high end all the way and I put up the low end by a little bit and also the low mid end and then for the master I put on this EQ and then I put on this comp compressor so I turned up the gain to 4 dBs so the general beat is much louder and yeah I put on these attack and release presets and then I just play the wand with the threshold actually I don't know if there's like a specific number that you're going for but you just have to test it out and just play around with this knob and if it sounds good then it sounds good and if not then you have to work with that again and yeah that's basically it for the whole mix and master so really not complicated you want your 8 weights to hit hard and your melody to kind of be in the background and yeah I think the main focus is the bounce of plug beats and then also the sound effect so we have very classic the Mexico draw crash at the beginning and then this bro everybody knows this because of broke boy from playboy carty this legendary song and it was also produced by Mexico draw so I think we all know this sound bitch, 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 bitch. yeah bro this is like iconic and then I added like smaller sound effects like this <laughs> and from the hook to the verse then I added this sound effect I think it's very important for you to uh, use these kind of sound effects because if I used something that I don't know Pierre Bourne would use for emotional type beat then this wouldn't be a plug beat. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, just download, I don't know, some Mexico Draw plug it from Reddit, it's 100% free and then you have solid sounds. Or just step in with my homie Young Valentino and he dropped like a stash kit with Avid the plug and it got some unique plug sounds but also the classics and yeah I'm gonna put the links 
for that in the description also so you can check that out if you want we are done with the tutorial and i hope that you now know how to make fire plug beads and if so you can leave a comment and like the video if you fuck with this and also last saturday i dropped a free loop kit this will be the first link in the description and so if you fuck with this tutorial i would suggest you go tap in right now with my loop kit and download it and then cook up some fire beats you can also send me your beats on instagram you can tag me in your instagram story and then i'ma definitely repost you or you can send me loops i got my email in the description and then i'ma cook some beats for you and upload it to my youtube yeah bro that's it for the tutorial i hope you have a blessed day and keep grinding